with a yo-ho-ho, it's Tale of the Toaster, in a Zuma 11 victory road, and wow, you won a match 4-1? That's a really good scoreline. You must be getting better at the game. Oh, the opponent was level 2. Yeah, I was just doing some CPU practice before I got into properly recording stuff for today. I was trying to take on the level 10 death zone national champs. Only realised halfway through the match after I was getting bodied that I'd put myself against the level 2s the entire time. Um, I was still able to get four goals because pretty much any goal will go in when you're a level 13 team against a level 2. But they also got a breach on me and they got a save immediately afterwards. So what could have been a 5-0 for me, at worst, ended up being a 4-1 instead. But it's given me a bit of an idea. It's like, alright, if I've been getting pasted in a lot of Victory Road so far, a lot of thought at the moment is on, you know, the future of S-ranking the game. Like, is it still going to be a 5-0 win condition in competition routes to get the extra rewards now that it's so much harder? So I'm just going to set the question. I've got one take here. I have to upload it whether I succeed or fail. Can I S-rank a team, that is to say, win by 5-0 or greater? So no goals against me. Doesn't matter if it's a breach, it still counts. Can I 5 a team, or better? Um, I played like dog water in that previous match and still would have managed it if not for the, the double crits. So let's just, maybe I should have gone for a higher difficulty than level two, but oh well, we've started now. Uh, we've got the idea. Let's just see if I do it, because I might still fail. Like what if I can't S rank them? How would I? How would I farm the level 99 routes for content? Uh, remember the Go Galaxy level 99 routes, by the way? Yeah, I've still got four of those, like, fully edited and uh, ready to release. I just haven't done the rest of the route. Um, the rest of the route at this point, so I feel like I need to finish it before I start to release them, especially while um, Go Gal Go Victory Road. Yeah, in Azuma 11, Go Victory Road, that's the game's name. Um, is the priority at the moment, but tell you what, even when it's like a level 13 team versus a level 2, when I'm trying to block someone from charging down the pitch, you will still lose it every time unless you actually guess the correct place. The game will not bail you out. I was losing almost every single one of them anyway. Um, just the level 2 team is not the best at actually taking shots because, oh, well, let's try it. I know, he wants out. But all of these uh, scrambles are a lot more favourable favorable for me. Pretty much when you take a shot with this kind of level gap, uh, whatever you fire at them is going to go in. Like There's nothing Sam can do other than get a crit, but like, eight minutes in, that's one goal, presumably. And I'm kind of looking for five here. They've already taken a shot on me as well. It just didn't get past the defender. Um, Maybe if I do succeed in S ranking the level twos, I will move on, try it again against uh, at least the level six team because finally I've gotten better at the uh, defending again. Um, so if they can win these pretty freely, I should be able to as well in theory, but I've already got enough tension for a Northern Impact. So let's just let it rip. They don't really have the defensive strength to stop me. I don't need to worry about doing shot chains and who is in my path, it will still be strong enough to go in, especially because they're not getting the attention to stop it. So this should be fine, but consider this a two match video. We'll, uh, we'll proof of concept against the level twos, and then I'll try it against the level six. And you know what, if I manage to S rank the level six, we'll just keep increasing the difficulty until I fail. How's about that? This could still be a 10 minute video where I fail to, to S rank this team. They might get a breach on me at any given moment. So. Let's just try and avoid giving them a shot altogether. Do we go all the way in with a regular, just direct shot? I am afraid to say we don't quite. Across the this match and the accidental practice match I just had before, um, that is the first time I've failed to go in with the shot. And that, uh, trying to go into the zone, long past. That has cost me a significant amount of time. Maybe this is a 10 minute video after. I mean, you guys know by looking at the video whether or not it's 10 minutes long, but um, I'm still getting tasted here anyway. 
So they can still dribble past me. I, and my skill diff uh, is very much still in effect when that's on the cards. You know what? I went for Ignited Seal, but this is something I'm learning about the game in general. When you want to go for a special move with your defenders, um, shot blocking is pretty easy if it happens to be in the path of a move, because that it's going to give you plenty of time um, to do what you need there. But if you're just trying to take the ball from someone with a defensive move, the moment the opponent chooses their option, you can basically no longer... Um, input your defensive move anymore. The moment they've committed, it's too late for you um, to... Here we go again. Too late for you to pick a move of your own. Um, so even though I went for Ignited Steel there, it was not to be because they swung first. Can I get a final launch? No, you didn't even turn around. That's another thing I've been doing. I always hold up and then press X to do a long shot into the distance, but Sometimes my player hasn't quite finished turning around yet, and if I press X too early, they will just belt it out of play. Um, you got a goal already, and your direct shot wasn't quite strong enough. So we'll try Zine. We'll get this 5-0, and then we can move into the, uh, hopefully, the next match, which seemingly uh, is going to be a, a, a great challenge. However, sweeping win is the perfect tactic for me right now because if my weakness at the moment is that I'm losing all of these defender versus midfielder interaction, sweeping win will get me a guaranteed win as long as I can get into the animation in the first place without fouling them in a sliding tackle. Like, if Gazelle or anyone here can get in front of them, no, I guess not. My sweeping win's going to wear off soon, I think. That was... Uh, that was the right special tactic to choose. I just didn't account for the fact I, I wouldn't even get a single chance. Um, however, they have given me an Emperor Penguin. I was trying to do the dash there and I nearly, nearly fluffed it up. But, right, if you do a special move on a level two, they have, they have nothing for you. Like, this is a guarantee. The only one that was in doubt was Wits. I really didn't need Emperor Penguin because I forgot I'd already weakened him. Um, but yeah, two more goals. It's doable, but I need to get better at the video game. This formation, I feel, isn't helping us either. I can't remember what I... Because I did change the, the alias formation. I guess I must still have Sweeping Win active because that was kind of fortunate. But yeah, one run, one dash, Meteor Blade. Easy enough. Um, what was I on about? <laughs> Completely forgot. But I wanted to say, yeah, to, to, to S rank any difficulty, you do need to understand those mechanics and you need to, at all costs, stop them from dribbling past you. And if they're taking shots on you, it's not going to go in, but um, it will waste your time a lot. Yeah, this formation, it's not the default for Alias Masters. But it sure is, um, like, properly getting in my way. I changed it to that on purpose, and it hasn't helped. That would have just barely gone in, if not for Gabby getting in the way. The defender being in the path of the shot but not doing anything doesn't weaken shots very much. It only takes 10 points off, but 10 points was enough in this instance, but... Bomber, you can do it instead. He's got a defensive move, so I'm not sure why he's so high up the pitch. Even with a combustion catch, it was not enough. Okay, so we get the S rank unless they breach us, which means we unlock match number two. Can I S rank a level two team? Seemingly yes. Can I S rank a level six team? Well, not without sweeping win. Oh, I've got Invincible Keeper. That is a good bit of insurance because that might be able to stop breaches. I want, I don't actually know that. Let me know in the comments um, if you do. So I'm going to go for a regular catch because I've activated the tactic Invincible Keeper so nothing they do can go in. Um, even if the strong is like super duper strong statistically and overpowers you completely. Invincible Keeper, seemingly so far the best special tactic 
in the game, um, it will protect me from those situations. But I don't know if it's breach proof. So that's one I want to find out. For now, yikes, 6-0 for, for poor old Samuel. He's not called Samuel, he's Sam Gukhan. Um, Sam was somebody that I didn't mention in my, you know, Go Gal Go FFI, but they represent all of their dub nations, like Gabby for Colombia or Spain, Aitor on the same team with him, Ricardo playing for Italy. Um, I never thought to put Sam on anything other than Japan, but Sam Gukhan, that is a Korean name. He could technically be on Fire Dragon by that name. They just don't, like, give him a funny accent in the games because... Well, probably because they tried to give um, the, the South Korea captain in in Azuma 11 3 a bit of an accent with his voice acting, and that probably wasn't too popular, so... I had only 40% possession there, but I did get my six goals. Um, but six is the imperative number. We're getting a fair few victory stones, but the spirits that we're unlocking for this are not so good. Um, so in Alias Masters is who we take on third, if I can S-rank these guys, but I'm not feeling too confident, you know? Because level six is three times greater than level two, and I only just pulled that off with pretty much every goal being a guaranteed go in. Hopefully I can compensate for that lack of power by doing more passing around. Um, increase the power of my shots, but we'll we'll see. I'll probably be losing a lot more interactions to them too, and there's a bit more risk of their goal of their strikers scoring without the use of a breach. And the breach is still there as well, so there's there's enough going on. And I'm only playing a level um, 14 team myself. It's not like I've taken my strongest squadron into this. If I took my current strongest squad, which is level 21, um, I'm going to take the risk. Didn't work. <laughs> I just felt lucky, and I should have known. Um, yeah, if I took my level 21 team into this, then yeah, I think they would probably have a pretty comfortable S rank in this match, but... It's got to be... I'm trying to imagine myself being in Chronicle mode. Um, getting a somewhat realistic situation going here. Pass to Wiz. And then direct shot. And it's still not... Uh, it's only half of Mark's health. So we're going to have to get a lot more shots in if we want the S rank here. So I'm going to run straight in with... Whoa, never mind. Well, I'm, a, I'm getting a lot better at these blocking situations, at least, which is helping a great deal. JP, you don't... you won't be stopping me here. Atomic Flare, that should be the first one. Jordan Greenway, Spirit one. I'm glad I've ma managed to win him around, but unfortunately a green spirit might as well be garbage in this game. It's, uh, it's equivalent to finding a 1p coin on the floor. Oh, no! Jack's defending was enough to make that not a goal. Oh dear, and now I'm taking the uh, power block. Chat, commenters, I keep forgetting I'm not streaming, this is a YouTube video. Tell me why power block is in this game and why it's so strong, I really don't get it. Well, let's try it again, I suppose. Because it's not even eating into my tension, is it? At least it didn't work the second time. But I'm also a little bit annoyed because all I had to do was take a shot there and it went in guaranteed no matter what. No, unless Jack fully shot blocked it with the wall. But I need one goal here. And it's not... It's not brewing. There's, any shot will go in. Atomic Flare had the type disadvantage as well. That's another way in which it super duper mattered. Instead, they're taking a shot on me. We are 18 minutes in, and I don't even have one goal yet. Uh, no, I'm not. I'm not taking my chances on this. Just play around. All right, fine. I'll take my. Oh wait, it's not me. They they keep comments keep telling me. You know, if it's blue, you've got the ball. If it's orange, they've got the ball. But I just don't have time to process that in my feeble little mind. Right. Just don't care how far away it is. Regular shot. You're not stopping that, Nath. That's goal number one out of a total of five I'm aiming for. Yeah, we are not at S rank 
conditions yet, are we? Especially with this formation, I must change it after this because I start the, I start so far away from my other, from, from the kickoff line that I'm just actively throwing at the start of the match every time. Um, I'm not getting past Jack, no way. Run! Oh, Sonny! He caught up to me from behind! The whole point of a dash is that I'm meant to be faster than the other person, but he was still fast enough to catch me whilst I was dashing so that he could dive and pretend that I'd fouled him. Yes, I'm accusing Sonny of diving. What about it? Oop. Too far away for the zone. That is so punishing as well, the zone button also being the long kick, so that if you're not in the zone, you will just bollock it out of the field and completely plummet it. Um, this is... It's going to be stronger than Atomic Flare. Will it go in? Not with Goopy. Gloopy goo in the way. Oh dear. Need it to be a breach now to get number two. He's even god handing it just to be absolutely confident. Next shot will go in, but that means the first half only one goal I need to play out of my mind if I want to keep this video going. Well, I hope people have been enjoying it anyway. Again, other gimmicky ideas like this I'm more than happy to try. I still want to get more multiplayer videos going at the moment, but low-key I've somewhat um, destroyed my sleeping pattern <laughs> whilst I've been... I have no air strikers on this team whatsoever. The only air element player I have is these two and they don't have that in their moves. Uh, have to stick with that then, sheesh. Uh, Kevin, I guess you can go instead of Torch. Um, but yeah, I keep, I've, I've basically just tanked my sleeping pattern over the course of playing this game too much and getting ill as well. Um, if I had a long shot, then we could have just fired off from, from another world. Pass to Wits. Regular kick. See you later. Well, at least that's within the first two minutes. Um, we could pretend I was 2-0 at, at the end of the first half, right? That's how it worked. Another three, please. I don't want to have to start sliding tackle it from Jordan. I might accidentally make him unable to play in the Nationals because he's, he's injured his leg or whatever. Which is still like an anime only thing and the, the in-game narrative is just that they wanted to replace him because they didn't realise he'd be as popular as he is. Heath! Ah, oh, every time I do the stupid charge, it always get. I don't use it that much. Um, I wonder what the foul ratio is on it because it feels basically 50-50 every time I roll it. Nevertheless, I've got a clean opportunity to use it here, and I've gone into the zone and long past it. You can see a you can see a trend starting here. It's gonna keep happening. <laughs> oh god, they've completely outplayed me there as well. Um, so the goal here was an S rank. Um, get a win with a five nil scoreline. Competition routes do also have that other um, score line by which you can finish. Oh, thanks for the crit now. Um, you can win by A rank if you 3-0 someone. And that might be what I need to do here. Because I keep screwing up. Can't do Emperor Penguin because it's on cooldown. And no one great to pass it. Oh, well... I'll stop begging for crits now, shall I? The game has given me one. We've got the A rank. There's 15 minutes left to get two more goals. You know what? Feasible. Lock in. Tail of toast. And use bull, ho bull horns. Um, Howard Direct is also my bonus skill, and that one could be pretty good. Just barely lost to Heath there. Right. Isabel Trick. Normally I'll root for Jordan every time, but unfortunately today's not that day. Uh, keep it up. Zone still can't Emperor Penguin because it's still on cooldown. Oh, dude, I should have substituted him. 
if it was going to be affecting me this much with 15 minutes left to go. Breach again? <laughs> yeah, no, uh, that's a lot to ask. Um, I think that's super mattered. You know what, Hunter's Net? Oh, well, I tried to Hunter's Net. It didn't give me it, but I won anyway. Ganymede Ray. Is this strong enough to get 4-0? This is, this is genuinely getting me in the mindset now. Some of those go Galaxy level 99s. I've gotten so close. I've gotten that fourth goal, and it's all about can I get the fifth one in time? And I am feeling it right now. Breach! Wow! I'm the best player of the game! I'm the crit lord! What are my team's passives? Are they in any way playing to this? Can I change my... No, what, they don't? Interesting. I never actually considered that. That's the first time where I've actively wanted to change my... Uh, uh, illusory ball. Bugger it. I'll try it. Yeah, I wanted to change my forwards after scoring the goal, but you can't access the bench. Um... Emperor Penguin, number two, two wits. And then hopefully he can direct shot it in to give us an S rank. But I've I've screwed this up before. Sometimes I've had it just sail right past the guy. Uh, I've pressed B there, but I have to get it within the thing maybe? Yeah, I don't know if that's a timing exercise or what, but that is ultimately the reason I have failed to S rank this match. Which is crazy, because I had... It's just like a classic Galaxy level 99. I failed the final gambit. I've tail of the fumbled again. Please do let me know in the comments what you're meant to do in that situation when you're trying to long shot into someone. Did he... Did he fail to kick it towards the goal because he was too far away from the net? Or was it because I mistimed the button? Or did it just glitch? Like, that's happened to me about three times now. I knew the Emperor Penguin by itself was not going to be strong enough unless I got three breaches. Um, so, felt I needed to try it, but yeah, ultimately that does bring us to the end of the video. But I had fun with that in the end. That was a nice little gimmick. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. And I'll see you another time in another video. Good luck with your own S-Rags.